Hello, Salinas, Spain Travel Group. Uh, I was talking with uh, your fearless leader, Paul, the other day. He had asked me to uh, do a recording um, on the options because it's time to choose your uh, your options for the uh, for, for the trip. And uh, he had asked me, you know, have I been to these? So first of all, I have been to most of it, but not all of it. So the Figueres in Girona uh, for part of the Barcelona, I have not been to. So I'll have to trust you to do your own research on that. But over arching on this, I think in choosing an option or not to choose an option is considering whether or not you're going to be back to that destination again. Because if if you think this is the chance to, to go there and you may not have a chance to get back, uh, then I encourage you to take options. Uh, there, we always do them as as uh, as best as possible, and they're good quality excursions. So, uh, but I would like to talk about uh, a couple of them. First, let's talk about El Escorial. It's a half day program, easy trip from Madrid. Uh, it's about an hour, if I call, recall correctly. I've been out there a couple of times myself, and it's it's a beautiful trip out. And then El Escorial has got this nice geography to it, and lots and lots of history. Uh, Philip II was the one who created um, this area, and it was at the height of the Spanish Empire. I mean, they're one of the most powerful uh, countries uh, that that was anywhere at the time, uh, ruling over Portugal and wide swaths of areas. So this really is where the power was centralized. And out of the different things that you do here, probably the Royal Pantheon to me really stuck out in my memory because it's uh, it's the tombs of kings. So you have hundreds of years of kings that have been tombed, entombed here. Uh, and it just really is a tribute to how powerful the Spanish were uh, during this period. So I, I think this one is well worthwhile, especially as a half day program. Uh, and then in general, the Lisbon extension is on that same uh, offering that you've had. And, you know, Lisbon is a, a very different culture than Spain. So it's not just a continuation of the same culture. Uh, so much interesting things that are happening uh, within Lisbon and it's close. It's about an hour's flight away and I think we've made it very affordable. So uh, here again, I think three nights, it's a chance if you have the time can get the time, I would highly encourage you to uh, go to Lisbon. And we've included what you need to do there. We've got three nights, so there's uh, plenty of time to do what it is that you need. And we include already what you must see. But beyond that, you have uh, some extra time. And uh, Sintra, Kais Kais, and Estoril is one of the offerings. Uh, it says half day. I will tell you it's more like three quarter day as I read through this itinerary. Uh, and I've been out there a few times and this is really a very scenic tour. Uh, your first stop is the National Palace of Sintra. So this is more like the Royal Villa. And unlike other castles that you might go to, uh, this is fully restored and they lead you through uh, room by room, and uh, the the china is there, the silverware is there. They have all the sitting chairs, just like they had uh, uh, during its uh, use, uh, and it's it's fantastic. And the view from Sintra is really spectacular. From almost every room of the palace, there there's a view. So uh, and they have magnificent gardens, and I think you know it's well worthwhile. And then the motor coach uh, uh, takes you back via uh, Cabo de Roca. This is the westernmost point of Europe, so it's kind of fun to be standing there and realizing you know this is as close as you're going to get back to the United States without crossing the water. Uh, wear a, a windbreaker, as you can imagine, it's very very windy there. Uh, but, you know, a great spot to go to. And then they'll return also through Kais Kais, which is kind of a small fishing village, kind of gives you that, that feeling of what's, what it must be like to be a Portuguese uh, a fisherman. And then they'll bring you back into uh, a Lisbon a, along a, a scenic area. So again, I think I'll, I'll check on it a little bit, but I think this is actually closer to, it says half day, but I think it's more of a three quarter day program. Uh, with lots of interesting things. So I, I highly recommend uh, uh, both of these that we've got here that I just talked about. And please do a little more research uh, about the other on your own and have a wonderful time. Thanks.